Guys, right, what's up, guys? It's here, the hands get a video. Now I know what you're thinking. Why now? And we'll get we'll get into that. Um, first up, uh, there's an uncut version of this video in the in the description because this video is gonna be edited. Because you know, I mean, nobody's really gonna enjoy watching that all the way. So I thought I would use the video to like. Uh, you know, t talk about some other stuff. I've been wanting to talk about some misconceptions for a while now about this game and all that. I, I don't think I'm gonna do it on this video, but we'll see. Um, first, uh, before we get going on that though, I will show you uh, my setup and my build. Just some proof for y'all to get this video started. And then we can, uh, you know, we, we can we can head into some other things. Bro, I'm, I'm about to get high as fuck. I am playing this game so good, no way. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my my uh, less than uh, AR build. Uh, I'm gonna tweak some things for PVE. Because if I'm gonna use striker, like all, all these boomers are gonna moan in my comments. So let's just. <laughs> Alright. So stability on the backpack. My. ARs are all have stability my, on the minor mods. This one also. Right. I'm, I'm seriously gonna. I'm seriously gonna, gonna start, start filming, filming my PlayStation, PlayStation now. Right. Regular thingy. Up. I guess this will do. So when you see this gameplay, just keep in mind that at the time of recording this, I hadn't actually shot an AR in like six months. I haven't talked to, touched the game in six months. Also, the servers on this day were like actually terrible. So, why now? Well, I don't even know myself, honestly. I, th I think I just wanted to make this video and just because it's been on my mind a long time I was like oh, let's go to it but I think I think what made me like want to make this video again really is the fact that uh, I, I've left the division uh, you know I've, I've been uploading videos still but if you play less stand or you, you're my friend on, on, the, on the division you know that I haven't I've barely touched this game in half a year honestly you know, and when I did, I was just playing healer for my friends and just chilling with them. Just hanging out because I haven't spoke to them in a while. I mean, yeah, the division is dead and I left and we all know it. I, I guess I just wanted to make a video with like closure. And I don't know, give a final slap in the face of these uh, boomers who've been throwing these accusations at me, I guess. I mean, imagine this, right? Imagine if you if you think I was cheating all this time and you end up seeing this video. You know, not, not that I'm actually gonna believe it or whatever. They'll have some excuse ready, I don't know. But I think it's pretty convincing. Anyway, um, that, that's, also, that's also the reason why I've never made this video, because to be honest, I never took the Less Stand community seriously. Because these these boomers, they were they like these these people in last stand, they were just mad because you beat them and they would just uh, you know throw accusations, you know, out there because they you know they were mad and they, they wanted to to justify their losses and you know justify them losing and you know of course it was always a small community so you, you're kinda of stuck with each other. And it doesn't take long when you're stuck with each other and somebody doesn't like somebody doesn't like what you do constantly for there to be a clash. So I never took the, the cheating accusations that seriously. I just laughed at them. And I always I also always knew that making a video about it, like look guys, look guys, I am not cheating at all. 
you know, that, that it wouldn't it wouldn't matter one bit. Because in the end, the accusations are nothing but a cope. I actually had something happen recently that will perfectly reason this. Uh, I actually talked about this with being well recorded this footage, so I'm just gonna play that. <laughs> that's that's the that's the that's the thing though. That's why di making this video is no use, man. It's just it, I'm just wasting my time out here. I really am wasting my time out here because you you remember there there, there was this situation that happened. To, uh, I messaged you about this. Well, well, um, and this this really made me realize that this would be a waste of time. Don't know why I'm doing it anyway, actually. But um, <coughs> uh, so I uh, I had a notification uh, on an uh, on an old email account that Crossfire was streaming, which was like part of the my old group. You know, when I started playing the game, the, these these friends were also Dutch, just like me and. Like we were playing, that's why I play, why I play list 10 to this day, because this group, they used to play, they, they only played less than because they weren't so good, but, you know, back in the day I didn't know. <coughs> and these guys, like really taught me the game, right, these guys really taught me the game, they, they learned me how to, how to make builds, like, I, I asked these, square, these guys how to make my first AR build, and these guys have seen me you know, play AR for the first time and steadily see me get better at it. Like when I got better at this game, these guys were there for their, for it. You know, they saw me slowly get better at this game. And then when I when I watched an, watched uh, the stream from yesterday from that Dutch guy, I saw they were talking about me in game chat, accusing me of Cronus. It's like what? Like th that's that's why I make it. It's because like we, we fell out, me and that group, we, we, we fell out, you know, of course, you know, a while ago. And just because I, I play against these guys now and, and they're angry and whatever because I killed them uh, and so, about some other stuff. These guys just accused me for Cronus. Well, these guys were literally there when I got good at the game. They have seen me from running like a noob to to pro. They've literally seen it happen in front of the rise and even they accuse me of Cronus, man. That, that's why this is never gonna work. People will never just... Like, they just... Uh, they're just so... Re people in this game are just so retarded, man. They don't... They just lie to themselves. They know damn well they're wrong. Like, probably some of them know, think... Um, generally think I'm using some cheating shit, but... They're just genuinely wrong. So I was going to get into uh, the cheating devices, how they are really not as powerful as everyone seems to think they are, you know, kind of don't want to ban in a, in a, in a nutshell, uh, Cronus doesn't completely di disappear your recall because uh, recall in uh, the division is variable depending on your connection, as most of you know. Automatic strafe is it powerful enough because you need to know where to strafe to depending on the situation so that ain't really that really ain't too powerful. Also XIM, the device that translates the uh, keyboard and mouse input as controller input to the PlayStation. Basically the division has uh, way too little of uh, a maximum sensitivity to support that. So Playing with a keyboard and mouse on a sim is like really, really, really garbage is what I've came to understand. And uh, it, it is true, Cronus Zen does, is able to uh, provide aimbot on console, but uh, that's, that's like really heavy stuff. You need an extra PC for that and uh, a, like a very good programmable software and all that type of shit. So it's basically just a short summary to say that uh, actually nobody is cheating in a division. Like maybe someone is using an anti rico script somewhere, but generally speaking, ain't nobody cheating in a division. Like especially not how much you guys think people are 
So let's just uh, get into um, how I play AR basically. So uh, how I started playing AR is really quite simple. I just uh, trained at uh, at a shooting range in the in the base. Just did it over and over again until I got the pattern down. And then I basically didn't touch a house or any other weapon for three months, just only shooting AR. And after three months, I got it basically. Now, uh, like you have seen uh, earlier on in the video, I do have about 24% uh, stability on the build. It's not that I can't shoot an AR without it, but it's more like uh, to counter the variable recall with the different connections you have to the server. Now, what you can do to mitigate recall even further is sidestepping. So as you know, or as you can see in my videos, whenever I'm beaming somebody from really, really far away, I am still moving my character side to side. I'm still flicking my stick left to right. Even when I'm in a range that, you know, when the enemy is running an SMG and he can't even hit me, I'm still moving side to side. And it, it has a reason. Because if you move while shooting your AR, and especially if you move side to side while shooting an AR, so you're changing, you're constantly changing direction, that your character moves in while shooting an AR, your recoil decreases by like 50%. I'm not even kidding. So you know how the M4 starts off like really light, pretty light recoil, you know, just like the house, just it's all right, it's all right. And then after 30 bullets, after around 30 bullets, it's, it starts kicking. It starts kicking hard. When you move side to side, you barely feel that kick anymore. It's, that's how powerful it is. So one more thing I want to talk about with uh, me playing AR. So that's really just a bonus, but sometimes you see these, I call it flicks. Um, you know, some people have called it aimbot. Uh, whatever, whatever. But sometimes when I when I play or you see me, you know, change from uh, one target to another target really quickly, and that's that's just something I picked up in uh, Call of Duty. I used to play Call of Duty. I still play Call of Duty for a bit, um, and I used to drag scope. That's where you grab a sniper rifle and you uh, you zoom in, and as soon as a target appears in your, like in your crosshair while you're scoped in, you flick to the target and you shoot them. It's it's like a way of sniping in Call of Duty. It's it it goes along with quick scoping pretty much. That, that's a skill I still have from Call of Duty, and it's just now I can flick with a crosshair with a third person game. I can also flick a crosshair from one to the next. It's just how it goes. It's just something I learned, I don't know. I also really quickly want to talk about the subject of setups, you know, gaming on proper hardware. So, if if you game, you have to do it on a monitor now. Um, fun fact about my setup, my setup is trash. My setup is actually trash. This controller you see me playing on, it's a Naked Pro Revolution. Uh, basically, this controller I'm playing on has a 250 hertz polling rate, and a normal DualShock 4 has a 500 hertz polling rate. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the details of whatever whatever that means. You can you can uh, look it up for yourself. But basically, my controller uh, responds twice as slow to my input as a regular PS4 controller. Also, when I bought this monitor. I bought it because it had a one millisecond response time. Uh, not knowing that uh, response time and input delay are two different things. Basically, response time is the time it changes. Uh, it takes the, the monitor for a pixel to change to a, from a one color to a different color. And input delay is uh, how long it actually takes to uh, get the image on the screen from the device. and. Uh, my input delay of my monitor is very high actually still. So my monitor ain't that good, but it's still a hundred times better than gaming on the TV. By the way, if you are interested in this topic of controller polling rates and uh, response times of screens, I'll, I'll probably leave a couple links in the description so you can inform yourself about it if you want to. Also, 
and yeah, I just I just wanted to end it off with, with this little story. When 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 I first joined uh, the division and Last Stand, you had all these great guys play, like Def Daddy, Gusolini, Perfect Go. You had like really 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 strong players playing, and I was a little noob, you know. And after a while of playing, I've and with uh, with these Dutch guys, and they 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 all told me these guys are cheaters. These guys are cheaters. They're cheating. Except, especially perfect Goku that guy is cheating so I, I fought perfect Goku a couple of times and saw him move around like that like he had a, he already back then he had that crazy movement nobody knew how to do that so I messaged him I, I was like can, can you teach me how to do that and, and, he, and, he, and he told me how to do it and I, I didn't figure it out because we should have just you know I, I he couldn't really send me a video or anything but he explained how to do it and then that's when I started strafing and it, it still was like a retarded method. I basically flipped my camera to the left by double tapping to the left and double tapping to the right. I think I have some footage still of it. I don't know if I can find it, but if, if I have, here we go. And years later, I was in party with him and, I, and he explained it again. And that's, that's when I learned how to strafe, man. And honestly, if any of you guys would have done that to me, it, like it, even even if you think I'm, because at the time I, I I thought Goku was cheating too, and you know that that was all right. And l later I found out by by learning what he did, that he wasn't cheating at all. He he was even using just a regular SPS4 controller, no mods, no advanced buttons, no back buttons, no nothing. And honestly, if if any of you guys would have you know would have asked me. How, how how do I strafe? How do I move? How do I control my AR? You know, if any of you guys I would have asked, I would have told you. I would have taught you. I would have showed them. I, I would have made a video for you, man. I I like. I would have loved to help you, but instead of instead of asking how I do that or if I can help you, it's all just you're cheating, Cronus and Cronus. That that. That guy has striker recall on his nomad. Yeah, that striker recall man on a nomad. Oh I look at that aimbot. It's, it's... No, I've only had a let me think about someone who actually asked a question once to me. If if I could help them get better. I think Shad asked asked one time. Uh, I think Real Toto asked me for some advice once, you know. And all these all these people that, that that asked me for advice or said, "Hey, you're a good player. How do you do this?" I'm 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 still friends with them, and it's just a handful of people. It's so sad. Every single person that has came up to me and asked, "How do you do this? Can you help me get better?" I would play with them and and I would and I would you know teach them some stuff. And and there all these guys are still in my friends list, but it's like five of them. Well, well, and th this was back in the day, even when the Last Stand community was still so big, and none of these guys, all of the of these nomad boomers, you know, playing with their little controller in front of their TV with the with the with their house and their seven K stamina nomad, all of these people would rather just complain and cry and like and and throw accusations my way. None of them would would, would just ask. You could have just asked. And really quick before I go, uh, I, it might seem like I'm I'm just speaking, like I'm shitting on the entire Last Stand community. It's it's not it's not the entire Last Stand community, man. It's it's the few rotten apples that that ruin it for most, you know. You know, man, most most people I, I've 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 seen playing for years and they haven't even messaged me once. It doesn't matter if they play Nomad or not, you know, or whatever. Like there's just generally some people that are looking to have fun in the game without making this whole battle between players of skill and players utilizing cheese and whatever. So it's it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna move on to a different game. And I'm gonna have my fun uh, elsewhere, man. And to a different game. I'm 
you know, I, I actually just quit gaming. I'm I'm not gaming as much anymore as I used to. You know, I used to really game a lot when uh, when COVID and all that shit happened. But nowadays, I can uh, I can just play live, man. I have a life. I have friends. I'm just and that that makes me way happier than wasting so much time on the game. So I'll just play some casual Call of Duty from now and I, I'll still make some videos. I'll still make a lot of videos because I still have a lot of footage from better times and um, and even like good clips I was still able to clip nowadays. And yeah man, that's it. That's, um, that's my opinion of Last Stand and the way I play. And now I'm able to play AR and the fact that I'm not a cheater. It's a lot. <laughs> Alright man, you guys have a good time.